Just another night, I was feeling fine In sync, playing bye 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 Then we found a kiss, I was like, oh shit, shit Boy, I had to try, I can't even lie Didn't really think you'd change my mind But what can you do, I guess I needed to Yeah, yeah Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing fantastic. I hope all is going well for you and your loved one. Or today, I hope they be biaye okay. Akwaba, welcome back. So if you're returning to my channel, thank you so much for coming back again. And if you are new, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. So today I want to talk about building a house in Ghana versus building a house in the U.S., particularly California. I don't have much experience about building a house in any other state. This is just my basic knowledge of what it takes to, you know, build a house in California. You usually go through a construction company. The homes are already being built and what you can do before the houses are built you can have an input in, you know, the basic um, plan of the house, but basically the the main plan is already um, decided or done for you. In Ghana, you don't have to go through any construction company. You can decide um, to hire your own mason and foreman and then hire some day laborers and then go from there. Please do your own research. I'm just sharing with you my basic knowledge that's it Nangin. so in ghana as i said you can decide um to hire um anyone to build your house they can be experts in the field or not so experts in the field you do get what you pay for however in the u.s you tell you usually go through a construction company the homes are already being built however um during the um phases of the building um stages you can decide to have an input as to how you want your floor plan but basically it's you have to conform to the general standard of you know of the plan in ghana most people use your own money to build their houses you know you use your own money to build your house and um you can build according to your pocket there is no time frame as to you know how long you have to complete your house you know you build according to your pocket you can start today and finish um six months from now or start today and finish 10 years from now most people tend to take um an average of three to five plus years to build their house because they just build in stages or build according to you know their finances but in the u.s you know you tend to get a loan majority of the people get loans you know to buy homes this majority of the people buy their homes and um, if you want to build you usually go through construction um, companies homes that are already being built you know you just don't decide oh i'm just gonna buy this plot and build your house in ghana most people buy the plots buy their lands and then register the land and then you start your building process and you can take as long as you want to build your house you know at least for now that's how it is in ghana you see a lot of uncompleted um buildings that's because they're building you know according to their pocket or you know whenever you have money you start building if you don't when your money ran out you stop the building by the time you know the house is built and then you own the home outright as opposed to here you know you usually get loans from 15 to 30 years so from 15 to 30 years you are obligated to the bank and obligated to the government you know with taxes until your house is completely paid off and even when the house is paid off you still have to pay taxes 
for the rest of your life or as long as you own that house you have to pay taxes mm -hmm. and even if your home is paid off and you stop paying your taxes so you can't afford to pay your taxes you can easily lose your home for but in ghana I'm sure there's taxes, but it's not enforced, you know? So as long as your house is built, you're good to go, at least for now. As long as your house is built, you're good to go. I'm sure there's taxes to be paid, but it's usually not enforced. Eventually, it probably will be enforced. But for now, what I know is it is not enforced. If you wish to get a loan from the banks to build your house, you can do that in Ghana. However, the interest rate is so ridiculous. So, 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 so ridiculous. For now, the interest rate in US is very low. I think it's 2.95%, slightly under 3%. It's under 3%. But, you know, based on your credit, you get your interest rate based on your credit. But usually the interest rate, you know, is around three to 5%, you know, average. However, in Ghana, if you decide to borrow, you know, from the bank to pay, um, to build your house, you are paying anywhere from probably 17% or higher. Do your homework, I don't know for sure. But the interest rate, what I do know for sure is it's extremely high, extremely high. So most people usually don't go through the banks to um, borrow to, you know, build um, their homes or buy their homes. However, right now, there's new real estate companies in Ghana and some homes are being financed by the bank. But still, the interest rates are ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yes. The average California home costs about $480,000 minimum. Minimum four hundred and eighty thousand dollars and with that you're getting something very you know very basic very small probably um a square feet of about uh fifteen hundred to eighteen hundred at most for $480,000. Take for instance, the, the one that I'm about to show you in the video is around 18, 1,800 square feet. And, um, and even that in Los Angeles, you have to drive out, like drive like maybe 30 to 40 miles away from LA, you know, to get a reasonable, you know, price for homes and reasonable is in the 500s right? 500,000, 550,000 plus, and you're getting like 1,800 or six, anywhere from 16 to 1,800 square feet. And, um, an average of three bedroom, how three bedroom, two baths, you know, and the bedrooms are not that big. The average Texas home cost about $177,000 as compared to California, which is $480,000. That's average. The average house in Florida cost about $285,000. And average Ohio house cost about $140,000. So, you know, the cost of home depends on the state. You know, some states are extremely high and some states are very reasonable like recently i went to go visit my friend in arkansas and the homes are very big and beautiful like huge nice size three hundred thousand plus square feet and i would say the average is probably two hundred and fifty thousand dollars i didn't look it up or more you know two hundred and fifty thousand to three hundred thousand um, dollars and you're getting so much for your money. You're getting two times the price of what you would get in California, which is probably 1800 square feet cost anywhere from 550 to 600,000, you know, square feet. So basically what you spend for one house in California, you can get two and a half homes in another state. Some cities are more expensive than others. And that goes for every country and every state and every city in the world. Some places just cost more than others. 
if you want the construction company to build your house, it's going to take about six months and for the home, for the house to be completed. I will show you the price for that and how long it takes. It takes generally takes about six months for the house to be completed. According to this construction company, it takes um, about six months for the house to be completed. And once your house is completed, generally they don't finish the backyard you have to complete the backyard and you have up to six months to finish the backyard up to six months you know you can't take your time like you do in ghana but here you have six months to make sure that your backyard is complete you just get a dirt you know is dirt land um the backyard they don't do anything it's just dirt land and you have to finish the backyard in six months you know construction companies or real estate companies are very good with staging you know homes so you go and see these homes and it's staged the model homes look extremely great the model homes look extremely beautiful fantastic however you know your house that you're paying for is standard so if you go and buy the model home you're going to spend anywhere from probably two thousand dollars to thirty thousand plus dollars you know for example you may be getting the very standard carpet however if you want an upgrade it's going to cost you a little bit more so different features of the homes if you want upgrade it's going to cost you in most cases you're going to want upgrade because if you go on by the standard it's like eh, just standard so if you follow the model you know plan it's the model always looks fantastic it's like eye candy however if you want upgrade it's gonna cost you california homes are extremely expensive as compared to other states however the equity go up very fast so let's say you buy a house today in the next two, three, in the next year, or even two to three years from now, the well, value of the home can go up like way, way higher than the value of the house in Ohio or um, in uh, Texas. California, the equity of your house can jump up like this and Ohio can probably be like here. Or sometimes you may even, you know, lose equity in your home. Urban planning in the U.S. is A plus as opposed to Ghana, you know, most when people, homes that are built, some homes are not well planned out. They are not planned. You know, the pipelines are not laid. The streets are not planned. And, um, you know, there is no, some places don't have lights or, you know, water. But here, all of that is planned out before the homes are built. But it is changing in Ghana, you know, certain areas where like develop, you know, where developers are, have it well planned out. So, you know, but Ghana is changing. Some places like Apollonia and some new development areas are very well planned, you know, well planned out. Times are changing, you know, changing. Africa is the present and the future. So invest in Africa. In Ghana, you can build your house for um, $50,000 to $500,000 plus, you know, depending on your pocket. You can have a nice house um, in a nice area from anywhere from $50,000, probably less, and even up to $500,000 plus, you know, you can have your house built you know so i would say on an average of 50 to 150 thousand dollars you can have a very nice house built depending on the location and the size of the house so thank you so much for joining me today as i said this is my very basic knowledge on building a house in ghana versus building a house in the u.s if you need more information on this topic Google is your best friend. Do your own research. I will see you again in the next video. Have yourself a lovely day. Thank you. Bye. Please make sure you watch part two of this video where I show you the model homes, you know, other um, older homes um, for sale, as well as picking the plot or lot, you know, for the house to be built on. Thank you.